Hi, my name is Ben. I live in Austin, Texas, but I originally come from Portland, Oregon in the Pacific Northwest. I'm a sales professional. I've been working in the sales uh, space for about 10 years now, um, and I work at a company called Better. I am a coach who wants to help people feel a sense of hope um, and optimism about their future um, by being a good listener and helping them see themselves in a new light. I think that's something that's really important to me. A part of my story I think is significant is how it pays off when you bet on yourself and invest in yourself. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about coaching is it gives you an opportunity to really invest in yourself as an individual. And throughout my career, I've taken opportunities to do that. Um, but then being introduced to the coaching practice has really um, made that a lot easier for me to do, to invest in myself and find ways to bet on my future. What inspired me to become a coach is working with my coach that I have. I've been working with her for about the past four years and seeing the change that I've had as an individual has really made me a firm believer in the possibility of what coaching can deliver and the power of having someone in your corner as you're approaching your goals and trying to become the person you want to be, seeing how much that has changed me as an individual has made me want to help others to have that same type of growth. My coaching business is in the very early stages um, in the process of finding my voice as a coach and how I want that to look and feel for the people that I work with. Um, I'm just now getting started and, and trying to decide what I want to name my coaching business. And so that's kind of the, the place that I'm at right now. I'm seeking my certification. So very early stages of my coaching business. My vision for my coaching business is to be able to help young professionals work through the mindsets they have around work and more specifically around um, financial goals as it pertains to their mindsets around that. And so um, that's something that I've done a lot of work on in my life and, and trying to figure out how the mindsets I have around money impact me, the way that I show up and the way that I move through life. And I think that this is something that a lot of young people could use help with and are eager to grow in themselves. It's it's a place where we all have a lot of trauma built up and are eager to find better ways to manage our mindsets around money. And so um, I know that that's helped me out a ton working with a specific coach around that. And that's something that I wanna help pay forward to other professionals. The advice I'd give to someone wanting to become a coach is to start by first working with the coach themselves. I know for me, it really helped me believe in the power that coaching has and the ability it has to change you as an individual. And so I would recommend finding a, a great coach to learn from and mentor from, um, but also then you have someone in your corner as you begin your coaching practice. So that's made all the difference for me. Um, working with my coaches helped me to see what a good coach looks like and how I can find my own voice within that space. The advice I would give to someone younger than me, I heard this great analogy the other day um, and it pertained to football. And so people think how you win football games is by scoring touchdowns, but in reality, how you win is by getting first downs. I think that applies really well to life in that we always think about the big goals that we have or the big achievements we're hoping to get to, but really the winning comes in the day by day, building the 1% better every day and working with a coach or working with a mentor or somebody who's in your corner really helps you to see the steady progress you're making over time. Instead of just being able to attack the big goals, what is the day-to-day -day things you need to do that will move the ball forward? So eventually you're in a position to have a touchdown, to get that big goal but it doesn't happen by one big Hail Mary pass. It's really the day by day, step by step working towards that. Coaching means having someone in your corner who can really reflect back to you how you're showing up and who you want to be. Um, it's really hard to get an objective ver view of yourself. Uh, we see ourselves through so much trauma and so many different windows, but to be able to have someone in your corner who can really help you see yourself in a new light 
um, is really, really helpful. And things like hope and optimism and agency um, are all boosted by having a coach in your corner. Coaching has impacted me by giving me more confidence in myself, what I'm able to deliver, how I'm able to show up. And it's also given me a number of tools that I can use in key situations. So if I'm in a difficult conversation with someone or if I'm feeling really stressed out or close to the edge of burnout, I now have this toolkit that I can leverage that helps me to get through those situations and show up the way that I want to be. And so coaching has really helped me to both develop those tools and then also have confidence in myself that I'll be able to use them when the time is right. And so that has really changed the game for me, both at work and in my personal life. What I learned about myself while going through Coach Training EDU is how important it is to me to have a community of people who are striving towards a similar goal. And so going about your coaching journey on your own can feel a little bit lonely. It's, it's something new that most likely your friends and family don't have a ton of context on. So to be able to go through this program with a cohort of people who are also seeking a similar goal, maybe starting from a different starting point, but we're all kind of moving in the same direction really, really helped me to feel confident in the direction I was going and to keep going and stick with it. It's a huge time commitment to become a coach. It's an investment of your time and money. And so having a group of individuals who are also seeking that same goal, I didn't know how much I would need that, but it has been super helpful. My experience in the community was great. I have developed a few different communities in my time at CTEDU. First was the group I went through the initial essential training course with. Uh, it was about 10 individuals and we got really tight over the six months because, you know, we're dedicating Wednesday night. We're all coming together. We're carving out this time and it is a time commitment. And so to, to have other individuals that uh, I know are also sacrificing in the same way that I am, it really built a sense of camaraderie and to see them doing the things that maybe I was nervous about, like naming your business, like asking someone to be a client, like charging someone to coach them, seeing these other individuals go through that same motion as I was nervous about it and stepping into it really helped to take away some of the uh, fear or anxiety around it. Cause it's like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. And so that part was really helpful for me. I think how it started helped me start is the accountability piece because it is it can be lonely it can be challenging to start something new anything new but starting your own business in a practice that is still very much being defined in the coaching space uh, I think CDU helped CTEDU helped give me the guardrails to stay consistent and stay moving forward um, through having the the weekly meetups that we had with my cohort to the resources I could do on the outside, to the book to, to follow along in the learnings. Um, it really helped provide those guardrails to get me off and going. And so uh, I don't know if I would have been as consistent along this pursuit if I hadn't had those guardrails in place. And so I think that that part was extremely valuable to me. The thing that stood out to me as an aha moment is how people can change. And it sounds very basic, but I realize that there's a lot of people who don't fundamentally believe that people can change. And I think that the powerful thing about coaching is that it gives you the opportunity to be intentional about how you're changing and to really take control of the direction your life is headed in. And we always are changing. I'm I'm always changing. But I think a big aha moment is I'm actually in control of that. And I can intuitively guide that change and to see how I was changing going through the coaching program, how my peers were, and the thought that I could help guide someone along their own personal life change. Uh, it was aha, but it was also felt like a, a lot of responsibility that I would be taking on. And it, I got so excited about the, the ability to help someone go through their own change. One thing I've learned is how much crossover there is between the work we're doing here and your personal life. And when I first started coaching, I thought that this was going to be a huge 
benefit to my work life. And it has been. I don't think I was ready for how much it was going to affect my personal life and how much the lessons I was learning as becoming a coach would also play over into my relationships at home. And that has been a huge benefit for me. And I have noticed myself um, taking things that I'm learning from my parents and bringing them into my coaching practice, or I'm learning at church and taking into my learning in my coaching practice. And the amount of crossover, we talk a lot about whole person and bringing your whole self. Um, but it's really easy to feel like there's that separation between who you are at work and who you are as a person. I think coaching really helps you to not only develop one side, but both sides and really bring them together. And I think I've grown so much as an individual and a professional through this, um, that the opportunity for you is huge through coaching.